Chief Justice Brian Sykes clap black man again with one more conviction. Yeah, man, a double murder, man. Saying 35 and 35 years. I was 70. At least 70 years black man I look on. Plus, you know, don't yet me telling you, say, the man has sum up everything, you know. At least three murder black man I get. I lost him, I lost him, man. I'm done for. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it no make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. Bag of things, TV, media. Yeah, man, I got me, they tell you, you know, me tell you, say, no, don't yet, you know. See it? All my people don't believe me, you know, when I tell you, you know. The man said, while holding down his head and hearing the news of a second conviction within a day, the alleged leader of the Wandan faction of the Klansman gang, Andre Blackman Bryan, was found guilty of facilitating the commission of murder of a man called Outlaw. Yes, man, and a brother they may attack, man. I him did in the house, you know. When black man go for him, you know, black man did dip on the scene. I can't tell what I'm saying, you know. Black man was dear. Because black man said, him one deal with him himself. Outlaw. Outlaw was dear with a girl. See? And black man said, yeah, man, I go for him, man. Defendant Tariq James was also found guilty on Thursday for the same offense. While both him and Brian were convicted of conspiracy to murder Outlaw. The man ain't playing up everything, man. Everything planned up before them attack the youth, you know. See? They must say it was another blow for Brian. As earlier on Thursday, Chief Justice Brian Sykes found him and defendant Brian Morris and Michael Whiteley guilty of facilitating the commissioner of murder of unknown Rastaman in 2018. I told that they show up on head, man. I tell you, say, Chief Justice Brian Sykes clap him. You understand? Ja, ja, boy, I tell you, man, clap him like mosquito in a man. Saying, what you are going to know? The victim was believed to have been a deportee. You understand? Sykes handed down his ruling as he continued to comb through the evidence that was presented in one of the Jamaica's largest gang trials, where a total of 26 defendants from the trial that was started in September 2021. Yes, man. Boy, I'm mean, telling you, what do you feel about this? You know, give me some comment and give me some like. Because I'm telling you what I go on. I already did predict it, you know. Yeah, man. I predict it, say, more charges are drop on him, you know. I'm showing sure you what I go on, you know. Saying a long time that trial is go on. And Chief Justice did move a little bit shaky, as I say. But it looked like, say, boy, he must say to himself, say, no, man, Brian, you're not going to man. Black man, you're not going nowhere. What do you think? A road you go? You're not going to work out. Yeah, what I must say, last year, a relative of murder man testified that Outlaw's real name was Patrick Tolak. She revealed to the court that she received a cell phone call informing her of Outlaw's deaths and the same day he was murdered. Yeah, man, the family member, they might grave over this man, you know, man. Brian decides, boy, he might go for him. And when Brian reached the house, the man kick off the door, you know, man. Kick off the door and surround the house, you know. See it? The woman said she attended his funeral and told the court that it was an open casket event. She said she also witnessed the burial, you know. Yeah, man. As me tell them, say, in a them situation, you know, people grieve, you know. The person who dead have whole heap of grieving families. You understand? Earlier in the trial, a former gangster turned state witness who said he was the gang's banker testify about the planning of Outlaw's death. You see what I say? Everything plan up, man. This is a man that know everything. This is why he bust out everything in our court. You understand? Black man face been up in our court in whole long in head. He can't believe say judge that shit. You understand? They must say now, the former gangster said the murder plot was crafted at his home. You understand? Black man sit down and pencil out everything, man. Everything pencil out at home, you know. You understand? In outlining his findings relative to the murder, Sykes said there was no evidence from police investigators regarding the murder. You know? However, he noted the testimony of the relative who said she attended the funeral and burial. 
James was arrested on November the 7th, 2017. Mere days earlier, outlaws killing, and he has been in and out of police custody between the Spanish town lockup and Horizon Adult Remand Center in St. Anjo. James' defense team had turned their his prison record to show that he was in police custody at the time when he was supposed to have committed some of the offenses he has been charged with. You understand? So look at this, someone who get away all tight, you know, because they must say record show saying they didn't have custody. He wasn't there when the murder they must take place. However, Sykes said on Thursday that some of the records and irrelevant statements from prison and police official did not convince him that James was not a participant in the 2017 murder. Sykes appear Sykes. Hey, I tell you Sykes I play Sykes upon them. Sykes I go on like he don't know what I go on and he don't pick up what I go on. But remember me tell us say Sykes I go clap this one I look like you know. I believe say more let him go. But Sykes I say Sykes I say boy I go clap him for the 2017 one. See? Cause there's a shadow of a doubt about the next rest. See? But I have to clap this one up and this one here. Let me see if you more clap him now. Sykes also examined arguments from the defense which posited that someone else unrelated to one Dan Klangsman trial was charged with outlaw's murder. While underscoring that the information was an interesting development, the judge said it was unrelated to the trial. See? Yes, man. Boy, well, me I tell you, say Sykes now play with nobody, you know. I be sitting a real out, I know, me I tell you, you're not done yet. It is not done yet. In quotation, the fact that the police charges someone with an offense, it doesn't mean someone had committed that offense, Sykes said. He argued that even if the person charged eventually confessed, this does not mean that another person was not involved in the murder, you know. No, Iwagwan. Meanwhile, the chief jury said he was convinced that Brian Sane and Brian Morris and Michael Whiteley are guilty of facilitating the commission of murder of Rastaman Sane, a deportee of Jones Avenue in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on January 14, 2018. That the deal is Salmon. Count 15 of 25 count indictment charge the three accused with facilitating the commissioner of an applicable offense by a criminal organization relative to that murder. The man, them not playing right now, me I tell you. Say. The court is not playing. Me surprised till you now to see how Sykes has sum up everything, you know, and a clap back at the board, them, you know. You understand? Yeah, man, I'm pleased, man. I'm glad about it, too. Initially, defendant Jazik Blake had been charged with that count but he was freed after Sykes upheld a no-case submission that was made by his attorney. So that they want to get off, you know. A couple of them get off, you know. But, I'm you know, telling you, say, the main lead of them get clapped. Earlier on Thursday, things were looking bright for 10 of the defendants, including Brian, after they were freed of some offenses and the indictment. Brian and his co-accused Jazil Blake, Tariq James and Andre Golden were found not guilty on count 14 of the indictment, which related to the killing of bus driver in 2017. So they mash up that the case and yeah, they young man them get off of the one there, then get off of the four count, you know. Defendant Golden, Chevroy Evans, and Mark Miller were freed on count 17, which charged them with facilitating the 2018 murder of a man known as Tesha Bus Driver. See? It looks like so they get off of the one there right so again. Miller, Daniel McKenzie, Pete Miller, Kemar Harrison, and Dwight all were freed of March 2017 double slapway in River Valley, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where two men from Denham Town, Kingston, were allegedly shot dead by the gangsters. I want to make this clear, you know. Not true, them bust off of them crime, you know. Nobody feels they're not them, you know. It might be them, but what I go on now, the evidence is not strong enough. You know, say evidence work in a court, though, right? Yes, a evidence work, man. I know what you say or what you feel. It's about evidence. If you can't present sufficient evidence to the court, you know, for them to be convinced and say, all right, I eat this. Yeah, man, you don't have no case. So don't feel so then you, they will get off an innocent somebody them. Then can be somebody the wickedest boy of them, but the evidence is not strong enough. And at that, me don't worry about with black man, you know. Me I say, God, I hope the evidence strong against him, you know. Me don't want a shaky, shaky, lean evidence upon him. Only good evidence alone can sink there Monday. So everything pile up on him right there. So 
and the judge clap him with two. Yeah, man, a double conviction, viewers and subscribers. You see me, I say. However, the accused remain on trial and were not told to leave the courts like Carl Beach, who was freed on Tuesday of one count of being a member of the criminal organization. So then can't leave yet because more charges are there. You understand? The judge is going through everything right and now, viewers and sub. Some of them get free up off of some charge, some counts, but there are more counts. So as me I try to show you, say, you know, keep in touch with Bugger Things Media TV, go and watch the channel see you because the case not done yet. Black man have two pun in head, you know, double murder, you know. Lord God, I can't wait for you hear the sentence. But may I keep my finger crossed still because more murder will drop on him again, you know. Yes, man, you're not done yet, man. You know, go and watch Bugger Things Media TV and big up on yourself, man. See? All right, so very Bugger good. Things Media up, up, TV, up, up, man. Up, 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 Thank up. you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal out.